Today I'm going to show you how to build a capacitance battery charger slash desulfator. Um, when I say desulfator, that falls into like your lead acid batteries, your car batteries, your lawnmower batteries, your wheelchair batteries, anything that's lead acid. But this charging circuit will also charge NICAD, nickel metal hydride, um, about anything but whatever you do do not hook it up to a lithium battery you will have fire <laughs> the, this will overcharge a lithium battery instantly so let's get into the circuit itself so to start out with you have an AC current um, from any wall plug-in so 110 volts so one side of this will go into a capacitor now this is an AC capacitor um, such as a starter capacitor out of a motor capacitor out of a microwave I've heard them work extremely well um, capacitors on this will either have a rating by a UF or a MFD, which is either one of them, they're both the same, which is microfarads. And what I have read up so far on one of these, for every 25 UF or MFD, you get one amp of charging current. So if you want four amps of charging current, and you will need a hundred microfarad capacitor or for 25 microfarad capacitors it does not matter but it has to be an AC capacitor so then from that out of your capacitor your AC voltage will go into a bridge rectifier. A bridge rectifier is basically just four diodes which a diode just lets your the electricity flow in one direction only. So that turns your AC current or alternating current into a DC current or direct current. And a bridge rectifier itself could be either you can buy a bridge rectifier or you can make one out of four diodes. Either way, it will work. But a bridge rectifier itself has the two AC connections marked by a little wave like this. Then it will have a plus and a negative. Now out of that plus and negative off the bridge rectifier, that goes to your battery. And that's as simple as it is. Two parts, a rectifier and a capacitor is all you need. So let's show you the one that I've built. Here it is. So what I have here, this is a 25 UF capacitor, and it come out of a 5 horsepower air compressor motor that I had laying around that was junk. But the capacitor was good so I get with this here I get one amp of charging current and I also have my bridge rectifier right here it's got the two AC connections and the positive and the negative uh, this here I tore out of probably a power supply someplace or another um, the higher the amperage one you can find, the better. I don't have a clue what this is. It just depends on how much capacitor you're going to put onto it for how much current. Technically, one of these chargers could put out 100 amps if you really wanted to. Make one do it. I don't know what you charge with that. A really big bank of batteries. But anyways, um, I have not put any clips on it, but I made this here. The white's my positive side and the white's my negative side for charging batteries. As I said, um, this is extremely good at desulfating lead acid batteries. I have been extremely impressed. I took two actual gel cell batteries, which they're just a, a sealed lead acid, out of a wheelchair that were junk. I mean, they were junk. And I brought them up to nearly new condition in the matter of, oh, a couple of hours each with this here charging circuit one thing about this charging circuit I must say which was surprising to me when I first used it because I really was not sure about it 
because if you put a tester on this here without it connected to a battery, you're going to get roughly 120 volts DC. Now when you hook it up to your battery, such as a 12 volt battery, that will considerably drop. You only get like 20. And that voltage will change as the battery is desulfated, which allows a higher current to go through the battery. In other words, it raises the conduct conductivity of the battery. Now with that, I mean you can bring a really dead battery back to life. Matter of fact, they say that if you have a large enough capacitor, either you can have more than one if you want to, you can actually run them in parallel, that they say you can actually hear the crystals inside the battery cracking and breaking, which I have not saw yet. So, I mean, if you check the battery, yeah, you're gonna have 120 volts DC at your wires, but if you hook it up to a battery, that's going to considerably drop. Like a 12 volt battery, I think I was seeing, oh, anywhere from 20 to 30 volts at the battery with it hooked up. And that will change as the battery drops. Um, one other change, would I would I do not have it on this circuit itself, but I do plan on having one. But I'm going to put a timer into the power cord, the AC side, so I can set it. Um, I think I have like a 15 minute timer, but if you had one that done a couple of hours or so, it would be great. That way you do not run the chance of possibly overcharging a battery, which I really believe you could do very easily with this if you left the battery, say, to charge for several hours. Um, this here only puts out one amp with the 25 microfarad capacitor. But it works extremely well. I've, I am blown away with how well this works. This is a fairly new thing by my understanding, but it works. I mean, it's so simple. A capacitor and a bridge rectifier is all you need. It is super simple to make. It works extremely good. I'm blown away. Um, I'm gonna throw a couple clips onto these wires and possibly make a housing of some kind to put all this in. I would really like to do because technically, yes, you do have 110 volts AC coming in here and that will light your eyes up if you really did it. But anyways, um, I hope you found this video interesting. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Um, like the video, subscribe. Um, I have a lot of ideas for a lot of videos for this channel, and I'm hoping to be getting them up. Um, I'd like to do one to a week, to tell you the truth, but do not hold me to that, please. All right, but anyways, subscribe. I got a lot of neat stuff, ideas, things to make that I want to do, so just get out there and just go make something. That's all I'll you need to do. All right. Thanks for watching.